prior to this stage is that your skirt needs to be trimmed and hemmed. Now in this case, the skirt really is already trimmed and hemmed. It's, um, this is Lycra and it is two layers of Lycra. So I did not have to hem it at all. It has been trimmed. And then I just came in with my rotary cutter and did a quick, very clean straight edge all the way around. So it's done. And then I have a layer of chiffon underneath, which has been trimmed and rolled hemmed. And in case you missed this notification in, you know, there's, there's a, a PDF that mentions this. Anytime I have a stretch fabric, you know, if I want a continuous look, if I want my skirt to match my bodice exactly, and I use a stretch fabric, I always line it with a non-stretch fabric like this Georgette, because your heel, if, if this is the heel of your, of your dance shoe, it's going to come out of, get out of the way. <laughs> if, if you're dancing and you get your heel caught in it, it's just going to be, it's going to want to slide right out because it's slippery. If you're dancing and you have a stretch fabric, ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you'll see ladies put their heel through the fabric, rip, there it goes, and then they literally have to stop dancing, pull the shoe off of their heel, and then, yeah, and then you got a big gaping hole. So that is why I like to have non-stretch fabric such as this Georgette. You could use any non-stretch fabric, really. I'll get out of the way there, see, because it's black, it blends in with my top. Um, so I like to use any type of non-stretch fabric underneath the stretches. And there you go. Now, moving on. So since this has been trimmed and hemmed, and I'll turn this, I want you to notice this as well. So in the trimming and hemming video, there we go. I, um, I tell you that you need to leave the back longer than the front, usually um, by about two inches, which is five centimeters. This dress, because it's a very sleek dress, this is really obvious. So here is, I'm gonna cheat and look at the camera. So here are the two differences. And yeah, this is how obvious it is. And the reason that we leave those two inches or five centimeters is to accommodate for the rear end curve. You know, so your tush curve. <laughs> You gotta have a bum up here. And by the time you put a rear end in it, it pulls this up. So yeah, by leaving your skirt longer in back, it actually looks even when a human is in it. Okay, so let's get back to, <laughs> let's get back to how to calculate where you want your feather clumps to be. 